Hey everyone, welcome back. For this video tutorial, I'm gonna take a two width sensor HIH6020 and we'll be working on the sensor. So, for that, I would like to visit the website controleverything.com and here search for this required sensor. And here it comes. So, HIH6020 is a humidity and temperature sensor, and these are some of its features as you can see. You can purchase this from here. Uh, well, I will be interfacing this sensor with an Arduino Nano and for that I require an Arduino code. So let's go to resource tab and here is the Arduino code sample. Now you can download the Arduino code sample as a zip file from here. You can also download the code from github.com uh, where we have the official repository control everything community is there. So. Let's proceed and make some connections for the hardware which we will use to interface and the working. Now first of all, this is here our sensor that is HIH6020. Now what we require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now to make the connection among the sensor and the Arduino Nano, we require an I2C shield which is available on our website controlleverything.com. The reason why we use is to make connections with other I2C devices an uh, easy job. So make this connection and place the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield like this. Now the binding factor among the sensor and the I2C shield is a connecting cable like this. Now make this connection and while making this connection with the sensor and the cable, the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same fundamental applies for the I2C shield. Now what we require is to power up our Arduino Nano and here comes a mini USB cable into the picture. Now gently place and insert the mini USB cable over the power jack of Arduino Nano and light it up. So we are done with the connections part. Now let's see what happens when we interface the code with the sensor. Well we have just seen the hardware connections and the requirements for that. Now the next thing we require is our code interfacing. So for that log into github.com and here search for control everything community which is our repository. Click over it and here search for the sensor HIH6020 and here it comes. Now this is the required Arduino code. Before proceeding further let's have a look over the instructions for this code. We have to download and install Arduino software on our local machine and this is the link which will help us through that. Let's have a look over this. As you can see, we can download the Arduino software in Windows, Mac, Linux and different operating systems. This is the link where we will have all the instructions how to use and install the software. Now get back to the code and here are we. It's a .in extension file. First thing you notice that we have included wire.h library which will have all the functionalities we need in this code. We have defined the address for the sensor that is 0x27. In the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication along with serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. There is a delay for 300 milliseconds. In the void loop function we have requested and read 4 bytes of data. It's a humidity and temperature data. The reading is continuously taken place and we have collected the data for the purpose of reading values. Now here conversion takes place and temperature and humidity data are converted according to the formulas given in the data sheet. At the very end of our code we have output data on the serial monitor which is in the form of relative humidity, percentage RH format and temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit format. So this is how the code is look like. It's a generalized code, simple code. Why not we have a look over its working. Now we have come to the working part of this sensor. So for that copy this entire Arduino code and open up the Arduino terminal. It's loading and open up a new file and paste the entire code and save it. And it's HIH. 6020 and now compile and verify the code. It's being compiled. 
it's done now upload the code it's being uploaded it might take a while but let's wait for that it's good to go now we have to check for the data on the output screen so for that open the serial monitor and here comes the relative humidity and temperature now when I press my finger over the sensor there is a change in relative humidity and temperature now again doing that there is a change again for the relative humidity and temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales so this is how Arduino code works with our sensor using Arduino Nano now what we require is a sensor features applications which we will discuss later in this video let's proceed now so now we have seen the working the interfacing the hardware connections all the stuff of HIH6020 so by our knowledge till now we have that HIH6020 comes from the family of HIH6000 series this sensor is a digital output type relative humidity and temperature sensors combined in the same package this sensors provide an accuracy level of plus minus 4.5 percentage RH and a temperature accuracy level of plus minus 0.5 degree Celsius this has an industry leading long term stability reliability total low cost solution true temperature compensated digital I2C or SPI output energy efficiency and a lot more features like this due to it, wide areas of these features it can be implemented in the, a lot of applications like HVAC, air compressors, telecom cabinets, industrial incubators, grain drying system, respiratory therapy and a lot more. Now this sensor can be purchased or available on our website controleverything.com and the required code can be downloaded from the resource tab like this. You can also have the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now in the end if you have any doubts, any queries or any part where there is an understanding issue you can contact me on controleverything.com and be sure to post your queries on our community page. To know more about the articles blog like this you can reach us on instructables.com and to know more about these videos to subscribe more like this you can go to our youtube channel now in the end i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day and thanks for watching